Hey folks, we're looking at Jimmy because it's a heck of a lot better than looking at me. He's a lot better looking than I am. Right, well as you know from the title, uh, i got an up upcoming project, that I'm a new project that I'm pretty excited about. Uh, in uh, real life, a full scale world, I flew on aboard a lot of helicopters. Not as a pilot, but as a passenger and employee for a number of outfits that flew helicopters at Grand Canyon and also in Hawaii. I flew extensively on Kauai and Maui in Hawaii. Uh, and other islands as well, Molokai, etc. Uh, and also at the Grand Canyon, uh, flew on a lot of helicopters. I flew on uh, a lot of Aerospecial A Star AS 350s, French made helicopters, flew on those a lot. But uh, especially I flew a lot on the Bell Jet Ranger 206B, four passenger, and also the 206L Long Ranger, a six passenger helicopter. So I flew, flew on those a lot. All right, so that's part uh, what's that's part A of the reason for this video and the content that will follow this video uh, in the near future. Okay, then the other thing is that uh, I had the, I flew the uh, the blade uh, the blade. Uh, we're gonna go over here and look at my crawler now for a while. Uh, I flew the blade two thirty SV two for what about three years or so. And I loved it, and I did, and I did all kinds of stuff with it. I uh, made uh, pontoons for it, and learned how to take off and land on water with it with the pontoons. I learned how to do a uh, sling loading, which I uh, learned about when I worked in the full-scale helicopter world, where uh, the company uh, that I worked for, one of them, uh, was contracted by the government, the National Park Service, in this case, at Grand Canyon. They were contracted to haul out uh, loads on a sling, which is just a basically a big cable that hangs down from the bottom of the helicopter. Uh, they were uh, contracted to uh, pull a lot of loads out of Grand Canyon uh, on a sling line, uh, including a lot of dead bodies, unfortunately, in all candor, from people who died down there in the canyon from not realizing what, what they're getting into as hikers, uh, and occasionally as rafters, but mostly as hikers. Anyway, so I did that with my Blade 230 SB2. I uh, hooked up a sling line situation, and I had some cargo where I could go ahead and fly the helicopter over and uh, hook up onto the cargo, pick up the cargo, fly with my sling load hanging way down. It looks really cool. If you go to my uh, previous channel, which is Copters, Crawlers, and Planes RC, you can see this uh, sling loading with my uh, Blade 230S. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, so uh, I did that. Uh, of course, I put an FPV camera on the helicopter, uh, you know, a number of different angles. I did a total night flight, a black, dark of night flight with the Blade 230 SV2 with the uh, action camera on board for onboard footage. I did that. Um, I flew uh, uh, FPV. No, I didn't. No FPV. No FPV. Uh, so oh, I put lights on the helicopter. Um, and Well, that's that's why I was able to, to night fly, as I just described. So I did all those things with the helicopter, and I kind of ran out of stuff to do with it new, and uh, and I was really missing airplanes because, quite frankly, I get a little bored with helicopters because they're so much easier to fly uh, scale than an airplane. Because with an airplane, you got to have enough room to take off and land. You have to uh, have the right uh, approach angle and all these kind of things. But with a helicopter, you can just take off and land off of a paper plate. You know, I mean, it's just easy. Taking off and landing is just easy. It's just absolutely, you know, whole harm uh, situation. So, uh, so I just kind of, kind of got bored of 230s and sold it, and uh, got back into uh, flying planes, which I'm doing now, and I love it. Uh, but I've been wanting to fly uh, another helicopter. I've been wanting to buy and find. I've, I've been wanting to find and buy a scale RC helicopter, something that had instead of just your generic, you know, uh, canopy uh, with some stickers on it. Instead of that, I wanted a scale helicopter. Just like I like my planes, my foamies, the Mall, it's very scale. The uh, Cherokee uh, E-Flight I'm talking about, it's very scale. RV-7, very scale. Uh, my crawler here, very scale. Well, um, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, that's I would like to have a helicopter the same way, but you just can't get one unless it's really crazy expensive or it's a really inexpensive helicopter uh, like an Echine which, uh, from what I've read, which is a fair amount, a lot of the reviews aren't good. I'm not, I, I've, I've not bought any of the Asheen products because of the too many bad reviews for me. So I thought, well, and a lot of times in life for me, and probably not just me, something that's a bad thing uh, starts off looking like a bad thing, but then it becomes something else. So 
My inability to find an affordable RC helicopter that's scale in appearance uh, uh, forced me to uh, change my thinking and, and move it in a direct, different direction. And here, the, here comes the actual point of the video. The point of the video is that my new pro, uh, my new uh, content that's coming up pretty soon is I'm going to reacquire the Blade 230 SV2 helicopter, which I love. And then uh, you saw the thumbnail photo for this video. That's a Bell uh, Jet Ranger 206L, six passenger aircraft, including the pilot, Long Ranger. Uh, the reason that photo is the thumbnail for this video is that I'm going to take my 230 SV2. Uh, buying a fly that I'm going to go ahead and buy uh, soon, another one, my second one, okay, and then I am going to scratch build a Bell 206L Long Ranger scale helicopter body, right, slash canopy, slash whatever you want to call it, fuselage, yep, so I'm going to make a scale body for the 206 Jet Ranger, also a scale <clears throat> Pardon me, a scale uh, tail boom uh, arrangement. The Long Ranger has a, a horizontal uh, on the tail boom uh, uh, up, 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 up towards the forward end of the tail boom. The Long Ranger has a, a vertical uh, stabilizer with a horizontal. Uh, can I start over? It has a horizontal stabilizer with a vertical stabilizer fin on each end of it. So that'll be on, on there. So I'm going to do all that. It'll have clear windows. Uh, I don't know if there'll be enough room to do an interior, but that is my next project, ladies and gents. Uh, buy a Blade 230 SV2, buy and fly uh, with the express uh, desire, intent, and purpose of turning that into a scale scratch build, scale Bell 206 Jet Ranger L model, Long Ranger. That's it. Hope to uh, have you join me for that, uh, for that uh, series of videos. And uh, we'll see you soon.